So if you're interested in dual extrusion printing and getting a dual extrusion printer, I wanted to talk to you about a few things that I've learned and noticed that are a bit different than single extrusion printing. So obviously, with single extrusion printing, you're printing one part, and if your part happens to be a bit fat or a little bit thin with the extrusion, it's not that big a deal. You won't really notice. However, with dual extrusion printing, you have to match the flow of both filaments. In this case, it was a little bit more difficult than normal. I did an ABS frog with glow and black ABS, and it turned out perfectly. The issue is, this is uh, a really interesting PLA print where one filament, the green one, is PLA plus, and it extrudes close to 200 degrees with a flow rate of 81. The yellow extrudes a lot closer to 190 degrees and its flow rate is 93. So that was a little bit challenging to get those two to match each other. And that's where I wanted to sort of inform you as to the differences between single extrusion and double extrusion printing. You know, you're going to have a little bit more to dial in. Um, you've got your calibration on your X and Y that calibrates the offsets of your extruders. So you, once you get that right, you're set to go as far as dialing in your filaments. So just a quick tip, sort of information that you're going to want to know. You are going to have some headaches and it is going to take a little bit more skill, but it's definitely rewarding and extremely worthwhile as the quality of the prints is incredible and to have multiple colored parts is a really novel thing. So it's doing a really good job of it now. I could show you a few fails that, uh, that just weren't working out, but it was all in my settings, nothing to do with the printer. So far so good. I'll let you know when this one's finished and do a little video.